Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm back inside of the expedition, inside of PC Experimental Branch, and I'm going to be hitting up the optional missions, because I need to complete all of these so I can convert my save to a normal save. Then I want to drop it into creative so I can fully upgrade my ship and start getting all the weapons in so I can try and get myself one of these piratey sort of freighters. Anyway, so this is step one. So step one is basically completing the rendezvous. Hold on, I need to go into this, this screen. Yes, yeah, completing the rendezvous. Now, it's showing there project one. I'm going to go and do these in reverse order because I'm already in this system. So I might as well hit up this one there, the fifth system. Research planet Boet Prime. Okay, cool. Hopefully po Boet Prime should be in this system. So let's just uh, go up into space. Lovely. And let's see if we can find Boet Prime amongst all these lovely marbles that are floating about in space. Are you Boet Prime? No, you're not. How about you? Yes, you're Boet Prime. Great. It's the one with the blinking dangerous sentinels all over it. Fantastic. It's also locked me onto the, the blinking space anomaly, which I don't want it to do. Head on over this way. Nice one. I want to go to the light side of the planet if possible. Any creatures that spawn, they're more likely to spawn in the daytime than they are at night time. So yeah, let's get on with this. Now, I believe we've got to scan flora, minerals and creatures. Now, I'm wondering whether this is going to become part and canon of the latest update. I'm wondering whether we're going to have to survey planets and systems to do things and unlock things at the Colossal Archives or send data from the Colossal Archives up to the stations, a little bit like we did in the Utopia expedition that launched this time last year. I honestly think that they tried to hint at what's to come the year later, you know? So although that I think this is hinting at ship racing, it might not be that we get ship racing for a whole year. Right, anyway, let's uh, land here then. Okay, cool, yeah. Document the local environment with the analysis advisor. Yeah, that I can do. Let's document it, shall we? Let's document this rock. Document it! Cool, yeah. Let's document this rock. Brilliant! There you go. And we're going to document that rock. We're rocking! Heck yes, we are. Yeah, we've got another one there. That's a different rock. We'll scan that one too. Is it still actually on the same expedition that I was... It's not really doing too much. How am I supposed to... Oh, look, here we go. It's moved up to 74%, apparently. Okay, cool. Well, we'll carry on then. Uh, oh, we'll document you. I don't know what you are. Oh, your plant life. I do. What else we got on this lovely marble? Well, we're documenting extreme freaking weather. It's melting me right now, people. Melting me, I must say. Yes, I've noticed. Right, we'll scan these air budgies. Oh, okay. Really? Fine. I'm going then. Have one of them. Well, this is very extreme. This is probably not the best planet to have started on. I've done this in reverse order, so I'm doing the hardest one first, by the looks of things, people. Right, there's another life form over this way. Where'd it go? There it is. What's this big guy? Oh, no. We've, 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 we've alerted sentinels, have we? Leave me alone, sentinel. I'm not here. I'm invisible. I'm invisible. There you go. Luckily, I've got the cloaking device. That helps massively. I think I'll head back to my ship and we'll scan as much as we can from my ship because I'm going to run out of hazard protection if I'm, I'm not careful. So let's see how we get in. And it says there that we're now 74% on this planet. I could go and land near to the ocean, couldn't I? And uh, we could get a lot more done near to an ocean. Let's go do that then. Let's go take on off. Let's fly on up and let's go land by the oceans and scan the oceans. There's also caves that I could scan on this planet. I guess. And we'll see how we get on. I mean, this isn't taking me as long as I thought it would. I can't see the oceans because it's got a big raging storm at the moment. But this looks kind of like it might be smoother than what we was just at. But yeah, my PC does struggle with loading storms. Okay. 
no, we haven't come down in the oceans at all, have we? So we might as well just land here and scan whatever we can scan. We could fly over the landscape and hopefully see an ocean, but I can't see that happening any time fast. So we'll just land here anyway. We will do once it realises that it's actually clear. The landing place is clear. There we are. Lovely job. I do like the noises this new ship makes. It's very groovy. Okay, well, let's just scan a few more things then. Oh, great. I've landed where there's sentinels. Leave me alone, sentinel. I'm not here. I'm invisible. Invisible to the naked eye. I guess I am. Right, well, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to scan an oxygen plant. There we go. There's another pterodactylian there that I haven't scanned. Get him. Get him, get him, get him. Get him. Oh, man. Oh, there he is. There we are, we got it. And we just went past a hazardous flora. I'm fairly sure something whipped me in the face as I was jumping over it. And I'm not see Ah, oh, there it is. It's somewhere amongst these rocks. There you are, you little git. You can scan that. Have I scanned you? No, I haven't. Cool. Well, by the actual calculation of math, I'd imagine I've already got to scan maybe one other item to make it 100%. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, no, look, it's still saying there. 74% in the bottom corner. Each discovery will con contribute to a, to a whole community-wide progress. It's community-wide progress, people. It's not just tracked on me. Great. Okay. All right. So it looks like I'm not going to be um, able to convert my save at any faster rate because it's actually held up by the community. Ah, that changes things somewhat, people. That makes us feel slightly more redundant than what I was hoping for. All right. Fine. Well, let's just take to the sky then. Let's just get off this horrible marble. Because it would seem, if I'm right in thinking, if I go to the Expedition tab, even though I've catalogued that planet to a certain degree, it's a community thing. And planet one is where I should be, really. So if I go back over to Expedition, go to phase one, and we want to do a planet one. Okay. I mean, I could do that, couldn't I? Let's fly in the station here. And we'll see if we can use, use the station terminus to get us back to the station one. But I'm thinking if I go in the stations, I have got some nanites I can spend. I can look at each terminal and see if I can find the weapons that I want for this ship. So I stand a fighting chance should I come across a pirate freighter. Okay, doke. So this seems to be something that I might have to do ambulantly each day in unlocking these. So I'm just going to focus on trying to do up my ship as best as I possibly can until this expedition fully runs its course which is another couple of days and I can only but hope I can get myself a sentinel freighter in that time but it's going to be more chance than anything and when I say chance it's going to be pretty darn tough to get this ship to the point that it's going to be able to take on a sentinel freighter I say that let's have a quick look at it so look at the starship that I have here, people. Okay, so we've got quite a lot of slots up here that we can do something with. Now, we've already got adjacency bonus there with shields. And there's a boosted slot right there. So I could boost the shields and make it a little bit more of a beast when it comes to shields. But yeah, there's quite a lot of moving around I can do with this sort of stuff to make it a little bit better. But they're the only technology slots I have. Okay. Let's fly on up here. Let's see what sort of modules this chap has for sale. Hello, mate. What do you got? What do you got for me? What do you got? Let's have a look. See. Purchase modules. What do you got under the counter? It's got launch thruster module. Don't really want that or need it. I mean, yeah, well, it would be nice to have better launch thrusters, but that's not going to help me in taking out a Sentinel Dreadnought, is it? Oh, look at that. There's an alien multi-tool just sitting in this cabinet right here, peeps. 
What sort of class is that? It's a Z class, but it's an alien multi tool, and that's in phase five. Okay, right, fine. Let's, um, oh, I got stuck on a blanking chair. Let's go through the portal terminus over here then. Let's see if we can jump back to system one, which I think was called Tobay or something like that. Or Toya Bay. Something strange like that. I recognize it when I see it. There we go. Lovely jubbly. And space stations. Okay, clearance not allowed. There, I just saw it there. Toya Bal. Whatever that is. There we go in there then. Now, I'm just going to check the actual technology merchant and see if he's actually selling the things that we need here. But if not, I could go to Planet One, catalogue Planet One anyway, and help towards the community progress. And then in my spare time, I can look to get this ship a little bit more tooled up. Um, yeah, I may have to do it that way. Fun times. Yeah, I was just thinking, would it be quicker and easier to create a brand new fresh save than... I could go into it and claim all these rewards that I've got. But yeah, I won't have the progress that I have that I've managed to gather over the last few days. But it might be easier for me to get the pirate freighter by jumping into creative mode, doing a ship up. Hmm. It's, it's, it's a conundrum. What to do for the right reasons. It's a tricky one, that, people. Um, yeah, it's just a shame that this has got a community expedition tied into it. Because the idea of Hello Games giving us this early was to test the fact that you can run other expeditions. But if this expedition has tied you into it, how are we going to test that Hello Games? We can't. And imagine if I go in there and start running another expedition now, when I've still got these optional ones left, I'm still going to be tied into this save and it's going to be really weird. Oh yeah, right, let's head on over this way then. Yeah, bit of an odd one. Odd that they gave us early access when they've tied it to a community mission. Strange, that. Hello, mate. Have you got any decent modules? Please have decent modules. Okay, here we are. Infra knife. A photon cannon. That'd do. That'd do. I can just go with highly leveled photon cannon for now. All right. The phase beam. Not really phased about a phase beam, to be honest. It would have been nice to have the Positron ejector, but I can settle for photon cannons. Uh, yeah, well, let's just do photon cannons in this ship. Let's just make it pretty awesome. And I might stick in the other missile launchers, and that's probably it. So if I just jump in the ship, out of the ship, create a little save. Uh, let's, let's install this quickly, actually. Let's get that in there. So photon cannons, that's going to be my boosted weapon, pal. Uh, we've already got the photon cannons here. Let's move that over there, then. And is this just a, another heat sink, heat dispenser? Okay, yeah, fine. We'll put that there. I'm just going to move these. Oh, look, it's got one of those those weird distress signally beacony things in it as well. And what else we got? We've got these, which makes me go a little bit faster. Oh, okay. Move that out of the way. Move that out of the way. Stick that in amongst those. Then maybe put him there. Right, so launch thrusters. I mean, these things, which is my warp engine. Oh, I've lost my idiom drive. I guess that's in the other ship. I can always package that out and put it back in again, can't I? Okay, cool. Well, we got those. And I haven't got any missiles right now. So, we get the missiles in, I suppose. Right. Gonna need copper and condensed carbon for that. Fine. And have I got the... And I haven't got the additional one that I'm after. All right, fine. Well, let's set fly on over to the Nexus. And I'm going to... Actually, I, I might as well tool up all of the um, photon cannons while I'm here. So here we go. Let's go over here. And let's just a reload, restore point, which was just a couple of seconds ago. And I should be able to go and buy those again from the actual vendor. And I'm going to do three more reloads. By the time you come back to me, I would have fully got all the photon cannon modules okay hey chums well i've just been picking up carbon as i've been going around here i mean as soon as you can get an infinite supply from these things now i'm just keep searching these well maybe not it runs out eventually ah now i'm sitting down okay right so i have got a portable refiner with me or a personal one i should say so if i pop into here go into my exosuit and head on over to my little portable thingy. 
I wonder if I've got enough carbon in here to turn into condensed carbon. Let's give it a go. Well, I've got 59. I might have to go down to a planet. I'm hoping I don't. There we go. Let's get that done. This is for the rocket launchers, by the way, people. So if I slap that in there, I just bought some copper from the trade terminal. So if I go over to my starship now, have I got enough? I haven't got enough on the condensed carbon. I'm just a little bit short. If I could just get a bit more carbon from up here, we'd be we'd be in my money. All right, let's let's try this one. Okay. Ah, get get off the chair. Watch and hack. They put chairs in close proximity to these plants, people. There you go. Getting a bit more. I think that's all that bush has. Let's try this one. You can get three lots out of it. Okay. Any more bushes? Any more little bushes? Little shrubberies? No, we've already robbed those shrubberies. Okay. I don't think there's any other shrubberies over this. Oh, there is. There's other shrubberies. Can I can I rob you? No. How about you guys? Can can I? Yeah. Damn it! No other shrubberies want to offer up their wares. Okay, right, fine. Let's go into here then. So I did delete a few things. I got rid of the Apollo statue. Um, I got rid of the coloured trails because I'd rather have things that are actually useful. Like this should help me find a pirate system, having the economy scanner in. So that's useful. I'm nearly there for having the rockets without having to go down to a planet. Let's see if... Um, me picking up that little bit of carbon has helped in any way, shape or form. Carbon, carbon, where are you? There we go. Maybe it has. Yeah, it's going to give me 55. That's more than enough to give you kid a treat. It's full of caramel, my goodness. It's lovely and fudgy to eat. There you go. Let's uh, grab that then. Pow. And then I should be able to go back into here. And I can install my missiles. Missiles done, diddly and done. And I've got the uh, uh, the S class modules in on my bolt caster, on well, a bolt caster, photon cannons. My damage potential isn't all that much. My shield strength and potential isn't all that much. I could do with up doing updating the shields. We also need to get the idiom drive out of my other ship, slap it in this one. I would like to have the conflict scanner in here as well, but for that I need a Walker's brain. And uh, I don't overly fancy fighting walkers at the moment. Let's just see if there's a walker's brain being offered up as a mission inside of here, people. I mean, I don't overly need them, but it could help me in finding the pirate systems, can it? Just slightly. It's always handy to have. I do like having it. Okay, hello there, mate. You got any walker's brains as rewards? No. No, you don't, do you? Dang you! Okay, well, I don't fancy fighting a walker. If I can get away with not fighting a walker, I definitely will. Right out. Cool. I'm not too sure of other ways to get them, though. Right out. Well, let's fly on out then. And I'm going to go over to the Nexus, and I'm going to get the upgrades for the rockets. I guess I am. So I can go call in the old Nexus. Check power. And then, I know... I don't have to, but I, I might go and catalogue the first planet in this system, since we're in this system. Uh, and just to put it out there that this community sort of jaunt is going to be going on a tad longer than expected. I'm still toying with the idea of firing up another save, and claiming this ship, claiming the helmet, claiming the staff, making my character look about right, and then just sticking it in creative mode so I can upgrade its class to S class, which gives it a boost anyways, you know? That might be the quickest method, you know? Because then I can be in creative mode and do it all there. Okay, and they're not offering up any walkers' brains. No, they're not. Okay, anyway, we need to go see that vendor. So let's go see the vendor. Up through the window. Sweet. Run down here. I mean... This is going to be my main save, isn't it, for PC? I would, I don't really want to start another save all over again just to do that. Okay, here we go. Every starship, research, starship, upgrades. And I would like that, please. But I could unlock this whole tree in creative mode. But then, if I wait about, what, four days or so, I can do all that anyway. But 
I want to get one of those pirate freighters, you know? Yeah, I just feel vested in this one. I've done so much work in this one. It's just a shame that they went and gave us a community freaking mission. Yeah, we'll do that then. Sweet. Okay. Ah, well, I, I'm just going to stick with this, people. I'm going to go down to the planet. I'm going to do a little bit of scanning. And uh, I guess we can try taking on a pirate freighter and see how we get on. I mean, I can install now into my ship the the other rockets, can't I? So here we are, Starship. Let's just stick them there. We need unstable plasma and wiring looms. Do I know the blueprints for um, unstable plasma? Yeah, I do, which is good. So I need metal plating. Just one. Okay, fine. Can do that, I think. And oh, no, I haven't got no ferrite. So I have to go down to a planet anyway. And we are going to be doing this one. So we've got to research planet Hunslow. Okay. Hunslow? That's a place in London, isn't it? No, right, fine. Well, it's Hounslow in London. Similar, though. Yeah, well, let's head on out. Then let's go and scan that planet. Let's go do some cataloging in there. We go and add to this community sort of jaunt. And I need to give myself some serious thought about what I need to do, because I don't think this is going to pop any time soon. Okay, right. So Planet Hounslow. Are you Planet Hounslow? No, you're not. Okay. Spin it round. How about you? Are you that planet? There we go. That's where we need to go. At least it's a star bam bramble planet, people. And while I'm there, I'm going to be crafting some ferrite. Well, I need to get some ferrite dust to make some metal plating. So I can make the unstable plasma. And then I need to go back to a station to buy myself some more wiring looms. Okay, well, I'll see you down at the planet. Well, I've just broke the planet's atmosphere. Heading down to the old planet. Because uh, technically, I want to finish this expedition. Then I want to hit up another expedition that's going to give me the Viking armor set. Then I want to hit up another expedition. Oh, look, here we go. We've got a drop pod. Another expedition that's going to give me all of the glyph set. You know, so I want to do all the expeditions on this. I want to see how awesome. Okay, chums. Well, I've landed on planet Hanslow. Now, what I want to do with my PC save is I want to make it so it's just solely based on all the expeditions. I want to run all the expeditions and see how OP I can get my character and how quickly I can get my character just by doing the expeditions. So this whole idea of dropping into creative mode and upgrading the ship, I don't think that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm probably just going to keep hitting up all these expeditions and see how awesome I can get my character by doing so. All right, so here we go. Let's go into here then. Uh, okay, I haven't got any of this stuff, really. I wonder if that little mini cheat still works. If there's a green box in nearby vicinity. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can get it to work. All right, so this green box, if you go over to it and you open it, and just take that out, and then exit out quickly like that, just back out, when you go over to this, it used to unlock this instead of unlock the box. Let's see if that works. Something that Jason Plays put out there. No, it doesn't seem to work anymore. Okay, sod it. I can't be asked to do all that. Righto. Well, I need to get a load of um, ferrite dust, anyway, to craft us one of my little things. And I need to scan this planet, like I was saying earlier. So let's start scanning, then. So, yeah, if I can't get a pirate freighter, I can't get a pirate freighter. But I'm going to try my best to. I mean, I should be able to do it with fully upgraded photon cannons and some missiles. I'm quite good at this. I should be able to get away with it. I mean, technically, I'd much rather have the... Um, oh, what's it called? The Infra Knife. Infra Knife is one of the best ones, I think, for um, melting Sentinel technology when it comes to ships. I could have held out, and I didn't. I didn't have to go for photon cannons, but I have. Okay, so maybe I made it a little bit tougher for myself. But it could be fun. It's going to be a challenge, anyway. Let's put it that way. Anyway, let's just do our cataloging of this lovely world. Add into the old um, catalog discoveries, eh? Where's, where's the? I'm trying to find rocks more than anything. Because I want to blast them to get a load of ferrite dust. Okay, there we are. 
We can blast all of these in a second. There we are. Let's uh, get blasting then. Runic lands! Take that, you. And you. And you. And you. And you. And you. Might as well grab some carbon while we're here, because we know we're low. Oh, look at all these little rocks up here. They're weirdens, aren't they? What about the one behind? I don't know whether I can scan that from all the way back here. No. Or if I can, it's the same rocks that I've already got. Am I being scanned by Sentinels right now? I am, but they're not hostile on this planet, which is good. Okay, let's go zap this one as well. Um, after we've catalogued this, we can always try and find a decent system to do the um, Sentinel pirate freighter hunting. I am thinking, do I need a walker's brain though? I don't think I do. We'll find out in a bit and go to the galactic map and we'll have a look, see how hard it is to find a pirate system. We should be able to do it just with the economy scanner. It just makes the icons a bit easier to see if you've got the conflict scanner. And I might call in my other ship. And there was something I was going to package out of the other ship. In fact, there might be a few modules that I package out of the other ship. Lithium drive being just one. Okay, right. Let's, um, let's see how we can get on then. Log. Catalog. I'm in the wrong mesh, I'm in the wrong screen, aren't I? Yeah, so, so I pop that. I'll pop that again. Make a couple of metal platings. I'll do. Go into here, make the unstable plasma. Chickaboom. And starship. I can get the. Oh, I need four unstable plasmas. Okay, fine. Need one more metal plating then. There we are. We've got those. And uh, what else was it that I needed? Wiring looms. Just two wiring looms, people. Okay, fine. We can get that in there. Right, so how are we doing with scanning this planet and its content? Let's go over to the actual expedition tab. Let's hit this one up. Optional mission. 75%. Uh, right, okay. Might as well scan that one then. I honestly think this is on the timer. I honestly don't think community progress actually tracks or measures, especially in the experimental branch, so it could just be a waste of freaking time. We'd head back on up to the station and we'll buy ourselves some wiring looms. Meow. Okay, you know what I can do though to get myself a shed load of um, nanites is upload all this data. Come on, upload all. Don't mind if I do. Where's the station? Station, station, where are you? I think it's over by where I've put the nexus. Let's just move the nexus for a second. There we are, and we're off. I'll see you back at the station, people in the view of us. Okay, Jams, well, I've picked one up. The wiring looms. So I should be able to go into my ship now and install this. Pow and pow. There you go. Done. Now I'm wondering whether I should look for a station that has some shield modules and rather than boost the rockets, boost the actual shield modules. So I've got better shielding, is what I'm thinking, people. So I might just use the teleporter terminus and go through each of the stations and see if I can find some shield modules. If I do, I'll let you know, people. Okay? Chums, it looks like we've found a vendor that actually sells the Starship shield modules. Now, you've probably noticed my nanites have gone down a little, and that's because I did actually buy myself some of the warp ones. There you go. I found one that done S-Class warp. So it's a warp hyperdrive range has gone up massively since the last time you saw us. And I'm thinking maybe just to move these over one slot like this. And put these over here. So shield module. Shield module. 
Oh, I might as well move these rockets down here now. And then build out the shields in here. So let's start doing that. So there we go. And pick that up. Chicka pow! The shield strength just went up massively. I'm going to do a few more reloads. And hopefully when we reconvene, my shield strength will be at the maximum that it can be. Then I think we're about ready to take on Sentinel ships, to be honest. People inside of the view of us. Okay, chums. Well, I've managed to get all the shields fully upgraded. So my shield strength is pretty high. Damage potential is averagey. But yeah, hopefully I'm going to be able to do enough damage to a, fire, um, a sentinel sort of dreadnought or pirate dreadnought, whatever you want to call it, to hold my own against it. So I've got quite a lot of warp fuel. Let's just make sure that my engines are fully charged in this thing, which they are. Let's jump out to the galactic map and let's see how we get on. With the warp drives sort of fully integrated now, hyper drives, hopefully we should be able to go pretty much anywhere inside the galactic map. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll be okay in finding pirate systems. Let's see if we can encounter a pirate system then, people. So from the galactic map, it's a shame that on filters you can't actually sort it by pirate, you know? Okay, so let's just have a look, see if we can find a pirate system on here. So we're just looking for a little skull icon. Pirate system, pirate system, where are you? Aha, was that one? Yes, there we go, pirate controlled system. I've already been there before, I think. Yes, I've already visited that one. So let's try and find another one. And it should just have a little tiny pirate icon next to the middle icon. So hopefully we can find one inside of this system, peeps. Come on. Where are you? Pirate system. It does make it a lot easier to spot if you've got the conflict scanner because it shows a massive skull. Whereas now I've got to look for a little fiddly tiny one. And this could take me a fiddly tiny, well, a fiddly long period of time to actually locate. Okay. Right, you know what? I'll reconvene when I find one, people. <laughs> the very next one I clicked on after I stopped recording was a pirate system. Okay, Jums, I'm on my way to a piratey system, I guess. So, yeah, fully upgraded the ship. Let's see if we encounter a pirate dreadnought. If not, we're flying to the pirate station, make a save, find another pirate system, and keep repeating the process until we find a pirate system. Now, I'm kind of thinking, do I really need an S-Class freighter? When has my freighter ever helped me being an S-Class? It hasn't all that much. I mean, I know that the class means how many frigates you can have. But even if I have got a limited amount of frigates, after you've managed to S class the ones that you have got, they, they do pretty well. I don't even... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know whether I'm really into trying to find myself an S class version of it. I've got everything I need. I, I, maybe on my PlayStation I'll find an S class because everything's S class on there. But on the PC... With the PC not being up to the same standard as my PS5 right now, and I can't really do anything about that until, like, next year, because all my funds are tied up, I can't afford to get a graphics PC. So I might just put it on hiatus. At least that gives me something to do in 2025 if Light No Fire doesn't drop by then, you know? So, yeah, I'm in two minds about it. I don't think I actually need a, an S-Class freighter. Let's just see if I can actually rescue and, and get myself a pirate freighter on my pc save yeah let's just get any old one don't care what the class is excellent anyway this is taking freaking time and a half to warp systems so this is another reason why i don't really want to play on the pc it's just time consuming can you imagine if i was doing this live i mean look at the amount of time it's taking to get from one system to the other on playstation it's boom you know and this has got an ssd i don't get it honestly don't get it people anyway now uh, what still going I could have made a cup of tea and drunk it in this time. Yeah, I'm a bit of a tea drinker. And I cut the front of this off. I thought I was recording just as it was about to exit warp. Unless the game's broken right now. It feels broken. I don't think it's ever taken this long to actually warp systems. Don't know what's going on here, people. Maybe it's loading in a Sentinel Dreadnought. Pirate Dreadnought. I keep calling it Sentinel. Mainly, yeah, don't know why I keep calling it Sentinel. 
But it's a pirate one, isn't it? Come on! Frickin' heck. I'm starting to think the game might be scuppered. Because this is an inordinate amount of time. Okay, I'll waste my time, not yours. I'll, I'll, I'll just pause it for a bit. Okay, chums, I've literally been warping now for about eight to nine minutes. Perhaps even ten. No change. I think I'm going to have to exit the game and come back in again. And then try and find another pirate system. Which sucks. Massively sucks. Okay, chums, well, I'm warping into another system now. And no piratey dreadnought has appeared. Okay, fine. No. Nope. Well, I didn't think I'd get it on the first one. So let's now... Oh, yeah, we've got to fly into a station in this system, haven't I? Just in case I do decide to re-roll. I mean, it, it would be nice to get an S-Class, but it could take an inordinate amount of time. But what I could do is I could do it live, and I could do it by sort of speculating about what might come out in the next update. I could do it on the Monday, couldn't I? I could do it for a full hour. And if I don't get an S-Class in an hour... And then just reside myself to whatever one I've got. So at least I've tried to get an S-Class. That might be the better way forwards, people inside the viewerverse. Let us know inside the comments whether you tune in for that. So you go and jump out of the ship. Make a save. Hold on. What have I just spotted outside of the window of this freaking thing? Is that a... Oh, it's... I thought it was a giant freaking pirate dreadnought. It's not. It's just some space rocks. <laughs> Okay, we're running again. So, go back out to the galactic map. Let's find ourselves the next pirate system, shall we, people? Okay, cool. Let's have a look around here then. I found that one extremely quickly. That was just luck, I guess. Oh, I need to have that expanded, or else I'm not going to find shite, am I? Okay. Uh, okay. Now, it would be nice if they added another filter on for trying to find pirate systems. Now that outlaw systems play a bigger part inside of the game. If you've got a conflict scanner installed, it'd be nice if you could filter for just pirate systems or even dissonant systems or dissident or whatever you want to call it, however you want to pronounce it. I, I'm, I suck at pronunciations. Come on, pirate system, pirate system. Oh, there you go. There's one tiny little pirate symbol. See that? I'll see you there, people. And again... And um, I've noticed that you can't barrel roll these ships inside of here. Oh, here we go. We've got one. We've got one, people. Okay, let's see how well we do. Because, you know, if, if I don't do well against this, then I probably won't be doing it live at all, will I? So let's, uh, let's go take out the engines first. Let's get inside the shields, though, eh? So, taking out the engines first, just stop it from warping away. So there we go. Let's get rid of all of these. Now, I could have done with the better weaponry, of course. But let's just see how we get on. Now, again, it doesn't matter how quick you do this. It doesn't affect how good a class of a freighter you're going to get. Which is pretty darn odd, to say the least. Now, people do say you're best to take out the gun turrets before you take out the shields. But I'm just going to do whatever comes first to me to be honest people so we go let's take that out take that out right now i'm just going to circle round and now i'm going to take out these turrets if i can anti-ship turret take that you you get let's take out the bigger ones oh these massive ones over here that are doing freaking loads of damage let's get rid of them take that Oh my days. I'm taking a lot of hits myself. My shields are helping massively. If I didn't upgrade those shields, I'd be in big trouble right now. Take that out. Take this you. Yeah, I'm trying my best to stop that from happening, mate. Okay, I think I've got all the big ones. I'm sure there was four, but... Okay. Maybe not. Ah! Ah, there you go. There's some down here. Freaking have it. Am I even shooting it in the right place? Ah, something just keeps hitting me, man. 
Take that turret. Okay, it still hasn't said that I can go aboard. Let's take that one out. I'm going to have to take out the other area of shields in a second. Let's go down into here, this canyon here. Oh, it's not a canyon. Ask some biscuits. Here it is. Take you out. Now, there is like a little thing that pops out afterwards. Look, there, this thing. So I shoot that too. There you are. Take it a bit slower through here, I think. Make sure I get rid of all of them. And then hopefully, it's going to offer me to come aboard any second. What? I thought I took away all the freaking missiles. Okay. Oh no, there's another gun right here that I missed. Take that big gun. Blow up. You can offer me to come aboard yet, or what? Oh look, there's another big cannon here. Oh, you get back. Okay, right. I think we're about done on this. Sweet. Okay. Now it's going to offer me to come aboard. Now the thing is, people, that for me was a bit of a freaking mission with the ship that I've got. It was fun, but doing that, like, how many times I've got to do that to get an S-Class doesn't overly appeal. So although that I said that I might do this on the Monday, I might have something better to do with my time than this. I could open up Discord and let people jump in and talk to me about what they think might happen in this update. That might be a better idea. Let's see... Please just say I've got the S-Class on the first bloody go. If I do, I'm going to be super happy. Let's have a little scan. It's a C-Class! Okay, we sod it. I'm taking the C-Class. We're having the C-Class. If it offers me for free, it might ask me to pay for it. Let's have a look. Because I've already had one free freighter during the actual expedition. So, oh look, you've got all tour banners up here and everything as well. And it's all red in here. How cool is that? Okay, that does actually look pretty darn sweet. Where's the captain? He's not, that's not the captain. Um, okay, I've got a little bit discombobulated. Hello, mate. Yes, I, I will take your... um. Yeah, seize the dreadnought. Yeah, sod it. I'm gonna have it. I'm gonna have it. I mean, it it, it is what it is. It, it's not the S class that I would really want, but um, beggars can't be choosers. And you know what? I I don't feel I'm overly prepared to do this over and over again. I I'm just really hope Hello Games add in a way to actually upgrade your freighters. You know, so I'm swapping a B class for a C class claim freighter. Yes, I know it's mental. No, I don't care about transferring things. Um, no, no, that's fine. There you go. I now have my own Sentinel freighter, dreadnought thing, whatever you want to call or pirate freighter, dreadnought thing. I didn't think there was teleporters for a second. Then people, there we are. We can teleport down. Now, everything was on fire, as you could see there. So, I'm just going to jump in my ship. I don't know whether it creates a save. But, um, I'm just going to fly out. Oh, great. They're still attacking me, are they? That's the thing, is it? And I'm going to fly into this, um, this little station over here. Make a proper save. Reload. And then I'm going to fly back onto my freighter and make sure it's actually in-game and everything's all good. Yeah, so I think Monday I will probably do some sort of Discord chatty type show. Or we could go scanning a planet and I could just talk while I'm scanning the planet, part of the community thing, even though that I don't think it actually tracks progress. We'll probably log in tomorrow and it'd be on 85% or 90 on, on phase one or whatever. You know, it is what it is. Anyway, let's, uh, let's just jump out of here. I mean, I could get an S-Class Freighter one day if I really need to, but to be honest, I'm kind of happy with what I got there. Okay, cool. Let's do a reload then. Dum -dum -dum -dum. And reload. Sweet. As you can see, it's getting quite late here in the UK.
Okay. Okay, right, well I've reloaded back into game. And uh, let's just uh, jump back over there. Jump in my ship. There we are. Let's just go and visit my freighter. It shouldn't be on fire anymore. And it shouldn't be making horrible beeping noises. And it should be pretty much fixed Cool. Lovely. I mean, I probably could have teleported to it, maybe, since it's in the same system. Is it just me, or does this feel smaller than a regular pirate dreadnought? I don't know whether it does or doesn't. Right, well, anyway, it's pretty cool as a freighter. I think it goes well with my ensemble, eh? With my, um, there you go, everything's not on fire anymore. Very nice, very nice indeed. I wonder if changing the colour palette might change out those blue and yellow sort of like roof panels. We'll have a look, we'll see if we can change the colour on it. But then again, I don't know whether we've got enough nanites to unlock all the colours. Jump out the shipment. And let's go and see what we can do to it when it comes to customization. We use the teleporter this time, people, rather than the stairs, eh? Forgot you could do that for a second, I was too excited. Right, eh? Hello, mate. Yeah, I'm just going to come around here and integrate with this thing. It looks like a squashed metal armadillo. Customize appearance. And everything is, yeah, locked out like I thought it was. All right, let's go back in then. Let's see what we can unlock. I don't know whether we can unlock much, to be honest. I wish they just had these in the same area, you know what I'm saying? Okay, 5,000 nanite clusters. I haven't got enough for a single bloody colour, mate. Okay, right, well, I won't be doing that then and checking my customization settings. Fantastic. Uh, hello, mate. Now, I know on PlayStation, well, on PC, people can do save edits and things like that to get all this sort of stuff unlocked. I've never looked into how to do that, and I'm not really a PC player. I would be if I had a better PC, but my PC was set up mainly to do video capture. I wasn't overly expecting to really hard grind any sort of games on there. I mean, I was hoping to play some Star Citizen, but I found with Star Citizen that that runs a little bit staggered on on this laptop. So the laptop I've got is an Alienware 27, 2070, and it's um, an M15. Uh, and it's, it's not a bad little device, to be honest. I mean, it does all the screen capture stuff that I need to do. But from what I've been told, I, I got it mainly because I was hoping to be doing a lot more traveling and taking my, my stream labs with me and all that sort of stuff, you know? But... um. That wasn't to be, to be honest. Uh, it might be in the future. It might come really in handy in the future. But for now, I think I need to try and get myself a gaming PC. And I'm thinking maybe buy it month on month when I've got some sort of capital to do so, which isn't going to be that often. And buy it in pieces. My stepson can build it, for, build it out for me. He uses part picker. He's built his own one. I haven't kept up with the times when it comes to the latest PC technologies. The last time I built a PC was on Windows Millennium Edition because it could have dual processor. And that was when I used to play Unreal Tournament 2003. So that gives you an idea how long ago it was when I built my last PC. So all this intercooler by Liquid and all that sort of shenanigans, I ain't got a freaking clue. So yeah, I'm going to get him to build it for me. And we're just going to pick parts. It'll be a nice little project for me and him to do, to be honest. A little bit of a bonding session. And I think he'd enjoy doing it too. And I've really I found a brilliant tower case. It's beautiful. Um, but yeah, probably get the tower case on motherboard firstly. And then as and when, try and find myself a graphics card on, on discount somewhere. That's the hard purchase, isn't it? And then the memory, then also the hard drive. And then I think it's about good to go at that point, isn't it? Anyway, people, I won't bore you to death with building PCs and all that sort of shenanigans. But uh, yeah, I mean, if you do want to help out with that, if you're able to, you know, I've got a PayPal link which you can find inside my um, links area and all that sort of sh shenanigans. So you can type a little message in there, let me know. There you go, this is for your new PC. I can stick it in a separate pot then. But anyway, people, I'm going to be signing out now. And hopefully you enjoyed that video. And it looks like it is possible to get yourself a, a Dreadnought freighter. But it's just as tedious as getting another freighter when it comes to S-classing and get well, S-classing one. I wish it was more skill-based rather than RNG. I really do. Anyway, until next time, people. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.